Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a gecko. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. The two circles should be roughly the same size. Don't place the circles too close together or the body will be too short. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. On the top left side, draw another circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. First, make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about two-thirds the size of the first circle. On the left side of the head, draw a curved line as a guide for the muzzle. This line should be similar to an arc on its side. Pay attention to the size of the arc in relation to the head. Under the first circle, draw an angled line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line at the top to indicate a joint and again at the bottom for the foot. To the left, draw another angled line as a guide for the other front leg. Geckos have short legs, so don't draw these lines too long. Under the circle on the right, draw another angled line as a guide for the hind leg. A big part of this line will be inside the circle. Connect the head to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. The shape of the neck should be wide. Connect the circles in the middle using longer lines to finish the guide for the torso. Starting on the top right side of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. This line should curve to the right and then back to the left. Pay attention to the length of this line in relation to the body. Draw a shorter curved line to make the shape of the tail thicker. The base of the tail should be wide and the tip should be thin and pointy. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye near the top left edge of the head circle. Pay attention to how big the eye is in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. As you darken the shape, make the sides pointy for the corners of the eye. Darken the corners of the eye. In the middle of the eye, draw a vertical line for the slit pupil. On the side of the pupil, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for the eyelids. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Draw a few smaller lines at the top for texture. On the top left side, draw a couple of short curved lines for the eye that's on the other side of the head. The eye is pointing away from the viewer, so don't add any detail inside. Use the arc on the left as a guide to draw the muzzle. Darken the path of the arc to create the top edge of the muzzle. Curve the line to the right so that it's inside the head to create the mouth. Stretch the line farther to the right than the eye. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. 
draw a curved line at the bottom to create the lower jaw. Make the lower jaw thinner than the initial arc. Inside the top part of the muzzle, draw a tiny circle for the nostril. Darken the outer edges of the initial guides to create the shape of the head. At the bottom, draw a few short horizontal lines for wrinkles on the skin. Draw these lines along the path of the initial head circle. On the right side, draw a couple of short curved lines for the ear opening. Use the second line from the left that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. The top of the leg should be inside the body. At the bottom, curve the shape to the left for the toes. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use curved lines to create a round shaped leg. At the bottom, draw a few thin shapes for the toes. Make the tip of each toe pointy for the nails. Not all the toes will be visible from this angle. Now use the line on the left as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Curve the bottom part of the shape to the left to create the foot. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Use short curved lines as you draw the shape of the leg. At the bottom, draw a series of thin pointy shapes for the toes. Some of the toes will overlap others. Use the angled line on the right as a guide to draw the hind leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. Use curved lines to create the round shape of the leg. Bend the bottom of the shape to the left for the foot. When you get the shape of the hind leg right, darken the lines. Most of the leg will be inside the body. At the bottom, draw a series of thin shapes that point to the left for the toes. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Don't overlap the legs as you draw the underside of the body. The top of the body should be made up of one long continuous line. Darken the shape on the right for the tail. Use short curved lines as you darken the shape for the ridges on the tail. Make the tip of the tail thin and pointy. Curve the ridges along the shape of the tail. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now add the distinctive spotted pattern all over the body. To draw each spot, draw a circular shape and fill it in. Make the spots different sizes and shapes. Make some spots round and other spots long. The spots should be smaller the closer they are to the feet. Draw some spots closer together to create longer shapes. 
Don't draw any spots on the underside of the body. Draw the spots on the tail so that they contour to the shape. Now color your drawing. Use yellow and yellow-orange to color the top part of the body. Be careful to not overlap the spots as you color. Color lightly at first and gradually push down harder on your pencil to blend the yellow and orange colors together. Use a very light yellow to color the underside of the body and tail. Add a bit of brown throughout the body to create some shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Pick a light source so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. If you'd like, you can add a bit of purple to your shadows. Color the eye using yellow and yellow-orange. Draw a shadow at the bottom using gray and a bit of purple. Coloring can be time-consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the gecko. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.